Hello everyone, it's me Bryson P and we've got another package from Finland. That's right, all the way from Finland, from the same person who sent the prior Finland package as well. So the same person sent us three packages from Sweden and now we've got two packages from Finland from the same person. And it's just, it's mind blowing to me. I could have never thought that this would be, you know, a reality, right? Let's open it up and see what we've got inside. According to our declaration here, we've got some coffee, soda, candy. We've got some dip with some chips. We've got nuts, cookies, a birthday gift because my birthday was just a few weeks ago, and a card with a letter. Let's open it up and see what we got. Oh, already something cool first thing I can see check that out I don't even know what that is but that's pretty cool <laughs> oh yeah you never know what you're gonna get and you never know what it could be inside one of these boxes I'll tell you that and check all this out all right let's start from the beginning here with our letter hello Bryson and greetings from Finland I'm not sure if my package will reach you in time for your birthday, but if it doesn't, you shall have another celebration when opening my gifts. Yay! I especially tried to find some banana flavored stuff for you since you like them. I actually do so also. Well, I actually do also. That's awesome. But unfortunately didn't find that many. I wonder if it's a flavor that Finns don't like that much as general. Kinda like coconut. I hope my gift will reach you in one piece and that you'll like everything I send you this time. This time I picked a few bigger things so you don't have that much stuff to go through. My last package was kind of big, lol. I like to go big when I'm sending my packages by size, not weight, since it costs the same no matter how much I can fit in the box. Please open the gifts before reading the list below so I don't ruin the surprise. Thanks. Hope you are having a great day, great night, whatever time it is that you see this. Yours, I don't know how to pronounce your name. So, I've been trying to figure out how to pronounce it, and I'm not really sure. Alright, so we're not going to read too much into this now, because it says, Please open the gifts before reading the list below, so I don't ruin the surprise. Thanks. That's kind of kind of interesting. So let's do a little bit of camera magic and make all this get laid out. So the first thing we should do is start with this awesome looking card. It reminds me of, uh, I can't think of who it is, but it reminds me of a cartoon character that, and I just can't remember who it is, but that's beside the point. I can't read any of this either. Poyon, I don't know. If I try to read this, I'm gonna read it like I'm trying to read Spanish. <laughs> But uh, I'll also, here we go, yeah, you guys can read it. So please translate this to me, my awesome, awesome subscribers and friends that are watching this. Please translate that for me. I'm sure, of course, it probably has something to do with, I don't know. I'll have to translate that too, because I don't know what that says. But Bryson, oh, I bet that says happy birthday. Translated loosely, but... Happy birthday, Bryson. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, there you go. This, of course, is going to get put up. Oh, wait. So who is who is this person? Now i got to know because I just realized that this person, is this person the same person as right here? Is it the same person? It's got to be. They got antennas. They look the same. So who? All right. Who is this guy, or gal, or person, or thing? What is this? What is the some some? What is symbolic about this? We gotta find somewhere to put it though. Looks really good right there in the corner, the bottom right corner. Okay. What else do we got here? Let's start with the big packages here. So you sent me some more cheese balls. Not only did you send me more cheese balls, but you sent me the large package. You sent me the big packages knowing that I just devoured these last time. They went very quickly. Not only that, but you sent me 
Fireballs. And these ones are a nacho cheese and chili flavor. So since I already know for a fact I love the nacho cheese balls, let's go ahead and try out the Fireballs and see how good they are. All right. They taste exactly like the regular nacho cheese balls, except these have the chili with them. Pretty, I mean, they're definitely good. I can't complain one bit. I'm just happy to actually have more of these. And I'm smiling because I know that I'm going to just eat the heck out of these for the rest of the day. And that these will be gone, for sure. I'm going to set these to the side, if you don't mind. We, of course, have some chocolate. So it looks like just a regular phaser bar, correct? Which is great because I've actually been craving some. I've, I've not had some of this stuff in a little while and I've been kind of missing it. I've been enjoying opening these gifts from you guys and being able to taste this stuff. And I'm kind of just destroying this package. Before I get too far into this, I got the crunchy roasted corn chocolate in my like one of my previous packages. That was <laughs> that was way better than I, I could have ever expected. That stuff was fantastic. I had my coworkers, they really enjoyed it, and they were one, you know, hey, try this out. So they enjoyed it, they liked it, they thought it was really good. And the banana fudge, of course, chocolate was just as just delicious. It's just a different level. I love the chocolate from where, from where you all live. All the chocolate that you all have sent me has just been great. I can't complain, to be honest. I mean, how can you really complain about chocolate? And these ones right here are a strawberry cream filled. Is what I'm getting out of it. Uh, the package got just a little damaged, but that seems to be about the only thing in this whole package that seems to really got any type of damage to it. Is that a dark chocolate on the outside? That looks to be dark chocolate with strawberry cream. A lot of times I don't even have to say anything because it's just the facial expressions. They should te they they should tell you on their own. This right here is good. <laughs> I've had things like this before. I always enjoy these types of things, especially around like Christmas time. It's where a lot of these these items come out. Mm-hmm. It's just delicious. Let's see, let's see. We got some chili nuts. So since we got these chili nuts, we're gonna open them up and try them, of course. It's been a long time since I've ate these types of, of nuts. But I am a fan. These ones right here are sour cream and onion flavor. And try them. Those have a good sour cream and onion flavor to them. I think they're a great snack, especially for to take on a hike or something. Or like on a... These types of snacks right here are what we get at the gas station whenever we're going on road trips, as we would call it, of course. For me, going to, like, say, Arkansas and back, I did the math on it whenever I visited a couple weeks ago, and it equates out to basically 420 kilometers 
from where I live to where my dad lives in Arkansas. I mean, 420 kilometers, it takes me right about five and a half hours, and that's usually with one stop. But yeah, these are definitely the type of snacks, for sure, that are very good to have on a road trip like that. Maybe you'll tell me who this person is in, in here. Since you wanted me to wait until after I got through this to read a lot of this, maybe I'll know who this person is after. We'll see. We'll see. And we've had these before, but not this flavor. We've had the chocolate ones, we've had the vanilla ones, and I'm not sure, but we had a couple different ones. And I've ate them all, of course. They were very good. So we're going to find out, of course, what the banana choco tastes like. I'm going to open these up here. And I want you to know I really, really, really do appreciate the fact that you went out of your way to try and find banana-specific flavored items just to send to me for me to try and, and experience. You know what? I'm going to see if we can get this apart. Yes, we can. We're going to check out the banana flavoring first. And see. And we're going to see how this is flavored. How well it's flavored. All right. Let me tell you, that has a very, very good equal distribution between the between banana and chocolate. I like I like that. They've got the flavoring correct on this one as far as just the proportion, the ratio, the amount of chocolate, the amount of banana, the flavor of banana. This is exactly what I would think of. Even with the with the cookie attached, I'm very much banana. I need to take a drink. Um, this is all in a whole different language, a language that I don't understand. But I'll tell you what I do understand. And it says ananas. Passion. This one, uh, Hartwell Lemonade. Lemonade. So my thing is, I believe this is a lemonade, but it's a banana flavored lemonade because it's a banana karaki, right? Banana karaki. There we go. Now you can see it. So banana karaki, something like that. It's a lemonade. So is this like a banana lemonade? That would make sense, would it? A limited, and it's a limited edition. It says limited edition. Now I'm concerned because I want to taste it, but I want to save it. Because it's limited edition. You know what I'm going to do? we got to make a decision. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to open this one right now. I'm going to wait and see what it says in our, in our letter here. Okay? But I do want to take a drink. And this one doesn't say limited edition on it. So this one's the one we're going to... Excuse me. Yeah, this one's the one we're going to open. All right. So here we go, ready? I mean, it's good. I don't know what I'm drinking, but it's good. I just don't know what I'm drinking. We also have this right here. And it's like a solid block of coffee. And this right here, I mean, it's literally a solid block of coffee. Listen. Right? Hello, Clarice. Is anybody there? No. Nobody answered the door. Oh, it's just that well vacuum sealed, isn't it? Okay. So we will have to make some coffee for sure. And in this one right here is already ground up coffee as well, but it's not. So we got we got drums and maracas, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's about as musically inclined as I am. I can do a lot of things in this world, but music is not uh, one that I can produce. Since 1937, I believe. Traditional coffee. I will have to try that out, just like I did with the Gavaglio coffee. And especially this right here, banana nut toffee coffee. This looks like a very good coffee as well. And yeah, banana nut toffee coffee. We're going to take these two and we're going to set them to the side for a minute. We have some angels. I don't know much about it, but there's some angels on here. Check these out. Ooh. All right, it's a soft, soft candy with a chocolate, I'm believing. Okay. Oh, that's good. The nougat is very good as well. This is so much fun. I hope you enjoy watching this because I'm having a blast. I love, I, I just love this stuff. I really do. We have these dips here. We got an American dip. We have a uh, three cipulia dip. We have a taco dip we have a ranch dip and we've gotten kind of down to the last two this right here seems like a coffee mug because it's well shaped like a coffee mug and acts like a coffee mug let's read and see what we got before we open our last two all right so chips and nuts we got the cheese balls, a bigger bag for you since you liked them that much. See, I was correct at the beginning whenever I said that that's why you had to have sent them. And then of course we got the fireballs and that's the cheese balls with a touch of chili, the spicier cousin of original cheese balls. These are my all time favorite chips. Unfortunately, can't find them in every store, but it's also a good thing because I tend to munch on the whole bag at one sitting. Sounds like we got a lot in common since I practically just said a few minutes ago that I was going to be sitting down and almost eating this whole bag tonight. The Broadway nuts, they are peanuts with a thick, crunchy, sour and cream, well, sour cream and onion flavored crust. These peanuts have much more flavor than their chips sisters. Perfect snack for a movie night. See, I agreed with that. I completely agreed and made that same comment that they were a lot better, that the, the flavoring on them was a lot more. And of course we got the chili nuts. With the chili nuts, they are uh, peanuts with a thick, crunchy chili flavored crust, of course. Uh, one of my go-to movie snacks, but in my opinion would be even better with more chili in them though. Absolutely. They could definitely go with more seasoning, for sure. For the dips, we've got mix these with sour cream. For chips, can also be used to make flavored butter. Hmm. And then, of course, we got the ranch, which has the taste of sweet pepper, tomato, and onion, which is your favorite. We've got the American, which is a taste of tomato, onion, and black pepper. We've got the three sapulia, which is three onions, and is a taste of onion, red onion, and garlic. And then we have, of course, the taco, which is a taste of, gun a taste of garlic, onion, and chili. On to the soda, we've got the Hartwall Banana Karaki. This is banana candy, banana flavored soda. It is a limited edition product. Came out for Halloween. Hartwell always brings out new special flavor for. Oh, Hartwell always brings one new special flavor just in time for Halloween, which is sold only for a short period of time. This time it was banana. So that's see, I knew not to open it. The fact that. It's a limited edition, and that's kind of how it all coincided and worked to, to just all be, you know, at the right place, right time, right everything. We are not going to open this, and it is definitely going to go back here and be put up on display for us to all see. Absolutely. I'm going to keep this for, for, yeah, I'm keeping that. This one, which is the Hartwell uh, Yaffa Ananas Passion. Pineapple passion fruit flavored soda. 
okay, now it makes sense. Now the flavor makes perfect sense. The original Yaffa uh, is orange flavored and has been sold since 1949. Nowadays, there are 12 different flavors in bottles, and for a year or two now, they've made these smaller, special flavored soda cans with 30% less sugar. So that's what the 30%. Okay. Under the name Yaffa Juicy. Yaffa Juicy doesn't have any artificial sweeteners, and the pineapple passion fruit is their newest flavor. Well, I'll tell you what. Whoever makes this, Hartwell, I am a supporter of your beverage. Not a sponsor. For coffee and cookies, we've got the Maria Colta Caterina, which is Golden Caterina, which is uh, this one right here, right? The block, the drum. This is a light roasted coffee produced since 1954. It is my mom's favorite, your mom's favorite. I'm an odd Finn, and I don't drink coffee, so I have to trust my mom on this one. The banana nut toffee, which is banana nut and toffee flavored coffee. Make whole pot with a strong taste or use a slight added flavor for your normal coffee by replacing some with a regular just like this. And then we have the Domino Banana Choco, which is what we had right here. These are, of course, a light cookie with banana chocolate flavored filling. Now, I would like to mention also, uh, I'm not like a major big time coffee drinker. I will go through spells where I will drink coffee uh, and I enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I do enjoy coffee. So I will drink this, but I will also, it's not an everyday occurrence that I drink coffee. You know, it's, I enjoy it, but I don't have to have it, but I'm definitely going to drink this for sure. Don't get me wrong on that. All right, let's move on. So for the candy, we have the Phaser Velia, uh, yeah. anyways, it's a Phaser light milk chocolate produced since 1922, whereas the Phaser Blue is made from actual milk, the Phaser Red is made from milk powder. It's lighter and sweeter, some might say unhealthier, but what chocolate is healthy? In my opinion... Better than Phaser Blue. Unfortunately, can't be bought in small bars, so here's a big one for you. Well, let me tell you, <laughs> the reaction from that, that bar was definitely worth it. I'm glad that you asked me to wait until after I tried all this stuff because it was like giving me a fresh reaction and not knowing what I was really getting myself into. So I greatly appreciate that. And then we have the Panda and Kaylee, which is the Angels. And it is milk chocolate bars with soft nougat filling. The taste of my childhood Christmas. The one thing I always buy for myself for Christmas, even as an adult. Well, that's, that's wonderful. Thank you for sharing that and sending that with me and sharing it. The Brunberg, uh, the Brunberg Strawberry Kisses, a chocolate-covered strawberry-flavored foam with a wafer bottom. That was these right here. So I guess that means we got to open this. And this is what is wrapped in the happy birthday. And I'm guessing that is the Panda Vajukoski Artisan, which is a selection of the finest artisan chocolates from Panda. So let's see what this is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. check that out. Look, I can already tell you these are going to be fantastic. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, and none of it, <laughs> none of it is going to be, oh wait, yeah, okay. I was gonna say none of it's in a language that I could read, but actually it is. We've got, we've got hazelnut, we've got a marmalade, we've got a marble, oh wait, sorry, a caramel hazelnut, a mango marmalade, a marble mud cake, a honey toffee, a black currant and a strawberry crumb. I just know these are going to be great. Check that out. Thank you so much for this. Oh, that was some very heavy, thick chocolate. That's a lot to get through. Hmm. 
Chocolates. Happy birthday, chocolates. How can you go wrong with that? And now we can get to here. So this fellow, a shopping bag. A Moomin shopping bag with a picture of Hesuli or Stinky. Stinky is a small brown hairy thing created by Tove Janssen. Stinky is greedy and thinks mainly in his own interests, keeping valuable objects and benefits greatly by making a mockery of others. He is still not thoroughly evil and not without human qualities. Stinky constantly causes problems, especially goods for his own use, such as things that will make it easier for him to rob a bank. Therefore, in Moomin Valley, residents avoid him, and he has virtually no friends. The Moomins, however, have tried to be tolerant towards a Stinky. While Stinky is really nasty, he is not bad. To the inspector, Stinky is the only normal criminal, but without him, the police would be unemployed. Alrighty then. Well, Stinky... Stinky's gonna be back here, chilling on the wall for a while then. Now, Stinky, you got a home. Now we have a Moomin mug. It's a little coffee mug. Look at it. A Moomin mug. With the picture of Mumi Pico, or Moomin Troll, the son of Moomin Mama and Moomin Papa, lives in the Moomin House. Moomin Troll looks like most other Moomin Trolls, with white fur and a hippopotamus-like big round nose. He is the only member of the Moomin family to not have any particular accessories or items of clothing associated with him. Moomin Troll is very kind and well-meaning. However... He is rather emotional and tends to be sad or worried a lot. He has a keen spirit of adventure and shows followers whenever, wherever his friends take him. That seems like something pretty personal. Not not personal like in a bad way, but so is Moomin. Is this a a like try? I guess trying to get a better understanding of what this Moomin is. Is it something like just very special to Finland? Or something that's more special to you. Moomin Troll is happy and curious. He wants to find out about other new things and always helps others. The world is full of exciting places to explore, but he is especially but he especially loves collecting rocks and seashells. He also loves the sea, as does the whole Moomin family. Well, I really do appreciate this. It is very interesting. Definitely one of a kind. And something that definitely needs to be up here for us to all look at and see and enjoy for the future. You have to be appreciative of this regardless of who you are. I love making these these videos. I love making this content for you. You know, I'm practically a complete stranger sending me stuff like this from another country, a whole other side of the world. It's just incredible. How, how is it not? This is what it should be about, you know, humans. And I guess this is now me becoming a movement, huh? A movement troll? Because I'm talking about the giving. Maybe that's why you sent that to me. I've just I've had a great day. Today's been a good day. And then opening all this stuff has really just made it even better of a day. And I hope that you have a great night, a great day, whatever time it is that you see this. It's me, Bryce, and P. I'm going to find where I would like for this to be. This will have to go, of course, with it. It fits in it, so it's going to stay like that. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, great night, whatever time it is that you see this. Goodbye.